Our friends are back from Morton Steakhouse to tell us all about the new seasonal menu. I'd like to welcome back Sean and Walter. And when you talk about the seasonal menu, it's pretty cool because you're adding in just new things that aren't available all year around. Yeah, absolutely. We do this uh, a couple times a year at Morton's and um, just showcase some of the things that uh, are available during the season. When you talk about it being seasonal, one thing that I love is that it's a time of year for families to get together and Morton's is a great place to do that. Yeah, absolutely. We do a lot of birthdays, anniversaries, uh, any types of celebrations. Uh, and we then host, yeah. one of the things that's just, it's calling out to me because I love it. Every time you guys are on or go in the restaurant, right over here. Yeah, Let's just right. talk about the way you guys do it. Yeah, absolutely. So this is our mashed truffled cauliflower, um, and it's uh, a great alternative to a, a typical mashed potato. Um, so I'll just kind of walk you through it just briefly on what we do. Um, of course, we have our cauliflower here. Um, and, if you, and if you think about mashed potatoes, you're going to go through a very similar process. So you're going to start with this, uh, steam them or get them soft. Um, um, here we got some garlic. So as, as this is kind of working, we're sauteing some of our garlic. Um, once the garlic is sauteed, um, the cauliflower is at the right um, texture. Um, we're going to mash those together, just like a, a mashed potatoes. And then we start throwing our goodies in it after that. We start with half and half. Uh, heavy cream, we add some cream cheese, butter, Parmesan, all that sort of thing, get it nice and hot and mash that together as well. I know it sounds kind of weird, but we're starting right out with a vegetable and you're like, why do that at Morton's? Because it is epic. It, it is, is so delicious. Awesome. We just had to go there. <laughs> and it's one of the things too, the way you layer it up with all the different seasons and spicing, it is so rich. Yeah, it is. It's great. Um, it's one of our most popular items and it's, uh, uh, we have a lot of guests asking for this. So. All right, so now let's move on here. I guess let's just stick with the vegetable theme over here, right? We got some mushrooms up here. Yeah, so we, we decided not just to have a regular mushroom. We decided to mix all three of them together. So we have cremini, shiitake, and oyster mushrooms. Um, and this is just a very simple dish. We just saute it together with garlic. Uh, we finish it with uh, some pe salt and pepper um, and some uh, Parmesan on top. Very simple. All right, so we kind of did this backwards, but it's just the way that... We should do it, right? right? We did vegetables. Now let's get into the meat, what you guys are all about. That's right. So uh, back by popular demand is our bacon steak. And look at those things. That's uh, uh, about 12 ounces of uh, bacon um, there for, for anybody to enjoy. So this is, this is uh, cooked for several hours. Um, and then we kind of fry it up and get it crisp. And then we... Um, uh, top it off with a, mu a sweet mustard glaze this time of the year. And that is awesome. If you haven't had it before, you definitely have to try it. Now, Walter over here, you've been silent, but you've been working really hard. What do you got on the grill? So I'm working right now with the, the dry age, 45 days, old New York strip. It's a center cut. All right. It smells delicious. I can't wait till that's done. So you just let me know. Just give me a little knock over here, and I'll come over there. And when you talk about it being dry age, what exactly is that process and then how does it help out with the flavor? Yeah, so the dry age is is not as popular as it used to be, of course, because it's a lot of, it's very, it takes a lot of time. So the, um, while you're dry aging it in, a, in an environment that's uh, controlled the, the, the humidity, the temperature, things like that, it develops different flavors and a different tenderness to the steak. So it's got a unique flavor to it, more of an earthy, buttery uh, type of flavor. Um, but it actually shrinks as it, as it ages, uh, about 20%. So. And one of the things I'm just going to add to you, when you have the bone in there, it brings out so much flavor. And it's pretty cool because as you get closer to that bone, you actually start to taste more and more. That's right. That's right. You got it right on. I can't even add to that. You don't have to, my <laughs> friend. Now, to learn more about Morton's, you go to our website, RiverCityLiveTV.com. I'm just going to grab a piece of this big piece of steak bacon right now. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it.